Good morning. Hi. My name is Bridget Harrison and this is my colleague Mary Whiteside. And your names are? Raphael. Raphael. Maud. Maud. Can I have your mark sheets please? Thank you. First of all, we'd like to know something about you. Raphael, where are you from? I'm from Lucerne. It's a city in Switzerland and it's in the German part. And what do you do there? I'm still at school and have two years to go. Maud, how long have you been studying English? Well, um, I think I've been studying English for about six years now, yes. What do you enjoy most about learning English? It's, um, it is very useful, I mean, to talk with foreigners. I have a lot of foreigners for, um, foreign friends and I really enjoy being able to talk with them. Maud, do you think you spend too much time working or studying? <laughs> well, sometimes, maybe because I'm hard working, I like it. And sometimes I think I should rest, <laughs> take time to rest, yes. Why? Mm, because, well, I, when I study, I stay at home. I don't go out with friends or I don't like working at a cafe or something. Mm -hmm. So it's not very a social activity, <laughs> yeah. So I should meet my friends and, and go out. <laughs> Raphael, do you like using the internet to keep in touch with people? Yeah, sometimes. But to keep in touch with people, I think it's better to see them face to face, not just writing. So, but like something like Facebook, I think it's useful like a contact book, but not really as interaction between people. In this part of the test, I'm going to give each of you three pictures. I'd like you to talk about two of them on your own for about a minute and also to answer a question briefly about your partner's pictures. Raphael, it's your turn first. Here are your pictures. They show people doing things together. I'd like you to compare two of the pictures and say why the people might be doing these things together and how the people might be feeling. All okay. right. So, um, I think these two guys are playing just music together and the, these three little girls are baking, I don't know, a cake or something. And I think um, they are doing it together because they might be sisters because they look so similar. And these two are maybe in a band or in a music group. And I think they enjoy to play together music and interact with, together and uh, these three girls just like to um, have fun here and bake in the kitchen. I don't think it will be a nice cake but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to learn how to cook and it's just an activity for them together and I think the, the both guys could also be preparing for something, maybe a concert or something but yeah, they are. Just Thank playing. you, Raphael. Maud, <coughs> in which situation do you think the people benefit most from being together? Well, in, I think every kind of situation depends uh, on the kind of relationship you have with the person. Um, when you're at school, maybe in a class, uh, it's good to talk with some people sometimes just to think about something else. and. When you're cooking, the same, you share uh, ideas, you learn things. When you're play, playing music, you, well, you learn about each other. So it really depends on the situation. Thank you. Now, Maud, here are your pictures. They show students doing different activities. I'd like you to compare two of the activities and say how students can benefit from doing these activities and how helpful the activities might be in preparing them for their future lives. All right. Okay. So, let me see. So, I'd like to talk about these two pictures. Um, well, there are 
on these two pictures, we can see two students who are doing different things. I think uh, she is studying so well. Um, while studying, she she gained knowledge and um, she get prepared for a test, maybe something. So it helps her preparing it, and maybe she will pass the test if she work hard. So, and uh, this student is giving a presentation and it helps her, it will help her develop um, a kind of uh, ease while talking to other people. So if she wants to be, <coughs> well, in maybe in entertainment field, it will be very uh, useful for her to be able to talk to people. Thank you. Raphael, which of these activities do you think is most useful? I think it's this one where they built a, I think it's a tent or something, because it um, helps for the teamwork. And I think that's the most important thing for the future life, because when they are like in the office or just at their job, they have to um, be prepared to work in a team and ask others about their opinion and work together with them. Thank you. Now I'd like you to talk about something together for about two minutes. Here are some things that people often have to make decisions about and a question for you to discuss. First, you have some time to look at the task. Now talk to each other about what people might have to consider when making these decisions. Okay, so let's talk about choosing a university first. Mm, I think people have to think about, well, first the students have to think about what they like, yeah. of course, when they, they want choose to study. a university. Yeah. And students and parents have to think about money because in some countries universities, universities um, is very are very uh, expensive like in England here and I think you have also to um, choose the right university for um, like where you you can study the subject you really want to and also that the university with the subject is the best university with mm -hmm. from all the universities yes. with the subject subject like the best results in an exam or something mm. like that and what about starting a family um, again um, there is a financial criteria to consider I think um, and well when you start a family you need to talk maybe about children. Yeah. Mm. You have also to think about if you're um, ready already yes. to build a family and if you have to, enough money and... And where to and settle uh, and yeah. you need to think about the jobs maybe yes. because I think that now um, most of the parents, I mean the two parents are working so they need to, yeah. to take that in consideration. And um, moving to another country, <coughs> I think the language is very important yeah. <laughs> and uh, there are some restrictions as well about languages, like if you want to move to Australia, you mm. need to, to pass the IELTS exam. Thank like you. <laughs> now you have about a minute to decide in which situation it's most important to make the right decision. Okay. I think the most important is getting married because when um, two people find them, uh, find each other and they think about getting married, they should really think about it because it's an important decision yeah, and they I agree with you. don't just um, get married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, then you, you have to sign kind of a contract and you're 
um, those people are together for whole their lives, so they need mm. to think about it before getting married. I think this is also connected to starting a family because yes. and maybe I think to it's another country. Well, yeah. yes, everything yeah. relies on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. And yeah, and also when you when you are um, getting married, I think it's better to first get married before you start a family yeah. because then you're like a yeah. couple, and yeah. Um, kind of, yes, a legal uh, couple or yeah. something Thank you. like that. <laughs> Raphael, is it best for people to make decisions on their own or to ask others for advice? Yeah, I think it's always important to consider other opinion because they have a different view on the topic or on the question. And so I think it's always important to ask as many people as possible and consider the different points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you agree, Maud? Well, in some ways, yes. But I think that some people can uh, should make their own decision when uh, they think that uh, the advice that all the people give them are not very strong, so, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Maud, some people think it's best to plan their lives carefully. Others prefer to make spontaneous decisions. Mm -hmm. um, what's your opinion? Well, again, it depends on the individuals, and mm, I think that planning uh, your life is very important. Um, like. Uh, in my uh, opinion, planning studies and holidays is very important because when you study, you don't have very a uh, lot of time to con um, to leave to a uh, holiday. So if you book a holiday or something like that, it you need to think about it before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you agree, Raphael? Yes, I agree, but I think it's also important that we don't plan everything because. Um, when we don't reach it at the end, we maybe be de depressed, and so it's always just the most important thing we should plan. Yeah. Why do you think some people find it harder to make decisions than others? Mm, I think that some people are not very used to make their own decisions. Yes. like. When you have very um, pushy parents, you, you don't really get to make your own decision. And maybe some people are scared about the uh, um, about the following. Yes. Yeah. The, the, the other opinions yeah. or. And uh, also, it's um, it's like I think it's like you um, either you are very good in make, making decisions, then you should also be like a leader for a group or something. But when you don't, I think it's better when you just listen to someone else. Yes, listen to someone's advice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you think young people can be helped to take on responsibilities? Um, I think it's important that they um, are taught in school about this and also from the parents at home. Yes, very important. The parents, I think, play a um, very important role because they are like an example for their children. And um, yes, they should teach them the good way of well, making a decision and how to, to pre-think about <laughs> how to make a decision, yeah. I think um, you can also start at an early age with like giving them little tasks to do mm -hmm. and then they have to the responsibility to do the task and then they learn what it means. Yes, or often ask them questions like what do you want, what do you think, so that they can talk and share their ideas and give mm -hmm. their opinion about things and develop this kind of uh, skill, yeah. yes, task. And so also in the job they will, um, will get tasks from their boss mm -hmm. and then they also know, um, know what it means that they get the task done and yeah. Yes, and encourage them to do their homework or things like that when they're very young. Thank you, that is the end of the test. <laughs>